Guido van der Werf's 2007 work, Nummer 8, is one of the most captivating images I've seen. Filmed in the Gulf of Bothnia, the artist walks steadily across frozen waters while a vast ship follows behind him. Although what we see might concern us, the title of the work reads, Everything is going to be all right. Then our focus draws away from the danger of the ship and the cold water beneath it to the calm nature of the artist. I wonder, what does this ship represent in my life? And am I walking so steadily? Born in 1977 in the Netherlands, the artist grew up playing the piano and began composing his own music in 2007. He mentions Frédéric Chopin among his favorite composers. Van der Werf is also an avid runner and triathlete. He incorporates his interest into his work, explaining that art allows him to do all the things that he likes. In an interview with Mark Christoph Wagner, Van der Werf shares some interesting insight when he refers to boredom as a luxury, saying that his good ideas came from being in this very bored state, later referencing a quote by Freud that chance only strikes the attentive mind valuing time and concentration when it comes to his creative process. On April 28, 2007, Van der Werf made Numer Negen, the day I didn't turn with the world. While the earth spun counterclockwise, the artist stood in the North Pole, slowly turning clockwise over the course of 24 hours. The idea being that by standing in the right place, and turning the opposite direction of the Earth's rotation, the artist would have stood in one place while everyone turned with the world. The work was described by Martin Herbert as partly being an analogy for away-from-the-pack contrarianism. While researching the artist, I came across a work that caught me by surprise. At this point, I will be taking the video in a more personal direction, by discussing a work of mine that is similar to Van der Werf's. Although I can focus and share information only about the artist, I figured it would only be natural that I also mention how I relate to his work and what I think, feel, or have learned along the way. Fast forward to 2015, Van der Werf made Nummer 17, killing time from the deepest ocean to the highest mountain. In one part of the work, the artist takes the equivalent steps it would take to get to the bottom of Mariana's trench using his bathtub. In the other part, the artist jumps on his bed the equivalent steps that it would take to climb to Mount Everest. I suppose that was inspired by his past goal of wanting to climb Mount Everest, and the metaphor, we all have our own Everests to climb. While I knew of some of Van der Werf's work, I was not aware of Numer 17 until I started doing research on him for this essay. In 2018, I made the film Climbing a Mountain Out of a Hill, where I repeatedly climb a 12-foot hill until climbing the equivalent distance of a large mountain. The work was inspired by the idiom, make mountains out of molehills, which refers to the overreaction to minor issues that can happen during moments of great anxiety. It's quite a coincidence that I and an artist who I think very highly of both grew up playing the piano, both with an interest in chess, sports, and performance art, have both made a similar work. It makes me think that the way we think creatively is not so different from how we think reasonably. That when artists are faced with the same problem, or given the same subject or materials, that we can in many ways come up with the same answer. When I made it, I thought I did something special. But now that I've learned that the idea has been done before, I feel like I didn't contribute anything to art like I thought I did. As if while Van der Werf chose not to turn with the world, I blindly followed. Which leads me to question, what does it mean to be original? And how important is it? For now, I think that 
if being creative is not so different to being reasonable, then just because you come to the same conclusion, it doesn't make your answer wrong.